everybody. I know you guys have not heard from me in a little bit of time. I know we had the live chat. Uh, maybe, likely, going to have one again this weekend. But I did want to make my video on the update with uh, the whole hater situation and the New York Yankees. First, let me just say, happy Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. I'm sure I'll have a message for you guys again tomorrow. But uh, today's a beautiful day to, to celebrate, folks. So make sure you're celebrating with friends and family. Hater and the Yankees. The Brewers and the Yankees. Obviously, we know now, you don't have to listen to me, but based on many reports out there, the Yankees have serious interest in trying to trade for Josh Hader. Hader, as you guys know, is one of the most dominating left-handed relief pitchers or overall relief pitchers in Major League Baseball. He is also under team control for many years ahead, which makes him very attractive to a team like the Yankees, who are going to be losing some players possibly over the next couple of years that they're not going to likely re-sign. And we'll have some free space, and it's a great way to save some money with a very effective relief pitcher like Josh Hader. Now, the cost. John Heyman reported here recently, and I do believe it was John Heyman, so I want to give credit where credit is due, that Miguel Andujar is being considered as a centerpiece in this deal. Now... I've reported plenty of times about the Yankees' interest in, and teams interested in Jay Happ. I do believe Jay Happ will still be traded. My understanding is that the Yankees have looked at many different trade scenarios for Jay Happ. Now, you may be asking, why am I bringing Happ up with the Yankees having interest in Josh Hader? Well, it'll be interesting, and I don't see this scenario as likely when it comes to the Yankees offering Hap and prospects to try to land a, a player, and possibly I see people say, is it possible that they add Hap with a few other guys and get Hater? Well, look, anything is possible, but I do think the Brewers are going to look to get a good prospect package to uh, trade Hater and not take on much more salary. Are they a fit for Jay Hap? No question about it. They've been a team that have talked to the Yankees quite a bit. And that's obviously confirmed now with the, the interest in Hader. I'm more than certain, 100% certain, because Mr. Reliable, is my most trusted guy I speak to, gave me all the information about Jay Happ. So a lot of people are saying, hey, Simonetti, you already said you wouldn't trade Miguel Andujar for a relief pitcher. A relief pitcher is one thing. A pitcher with the caliber of Josh Hader is another thing. It depends on what you see the value of Miggy Andujar with the New York Yankees. Me, as you guys know, who have followed me for some time, arguably one of the biggest Miguel Andujar fans out there, I used to say I was talking about Andujar being cool before anybody knew him. For Simonetti, he was always the cool thing. He was always the next possible big ticket for the New York Yankees, and hell, he proved it, but look, the game of baseball is cruel. The game of baseball is not nice because fans forget quickly. Fans forget that Miguel Andujar was arguably the best player in his rookie year at the New York Yankees. He was arguably the team MVP. He was great. He was excellent. He was everything you would want in a rookie and more. Does the defense need work? Yes. But he wouldn't be the first guy that defense needs work because you know the bat doesn't. The bat is there. We know that. We know the bat doesn't need work. So would Andujar, and you're likely looking at Garcia, who, folks, I have heard from many scouts, and it reminds me so much of Justice Sheffield, that people feel this guy's going to end up a relief pitcher. Now, is that a negative thing? No. Is that all the likelihood? No. That scout's opinion of where he is right now, what they see his trajectory being in the future, more aimed towards a relief pitcher. Doesn't mean he won't be an effective starter. Doesn't mean he may not become an ace. But the people that I speak with, the people I've seen others speak to, the scouting reports, if you talk to certain scouts, it's always the same thing. They do feel that he doesn't have the arsenal or will he have the bill and the mold to continue to be a very effective starting pitcher, but more likely a relief pitcher. It's going to take more than Miguel Andujar because, look, if you're the Brewers, 
You don't need to trade him. You don't have to. You have no reason to have to go out there and try to push this trade. Now, if you can land a Miguel Ando, who is a major league player, would definitely be in the starting lineup for the Brewers, and hell, they need a third baseman right now. You can give him time to develop. You can give him that time to be the third baseman. And he's going to win you games with his bat. We know that. So that's a decision on the Brewers' side of saying we get an effective guy every single day that can help us. And again, it comes down to what the Brewers see Miguel Andohar's value of being. Just like the Yankees see, what is his value to this club? Is it going to be a DH? Is Giovanni Urshela the real deal? Is he going to be the regular third baseman for years to come? Do we feel we have sufficient enough young players coming up? Do we have an official enough lineup to lose Miguel Andohar for a strength that we love, and that is relief pitching? The Yankees making no secrets that they love to have an elite bullpen. And it works. It certainly works. So, folks, you let me know in the comments below. The Yankees are no doubt about it. Talking to the Brewers, that I can confirm, as many others have already reported this, but there is no doubt in my mind they're having conversations. No doubt in my mind the Yankees would love to get a deal done. It all matters on if they do. Would you deal Andohar? Would you deal Garcia? Would you deal what other uh, whatever else it may cost? And who is that? What, what does your deal look like? Let me know in the comments below, and we will have a conversation. You guys are the best. Thank you for all that you do. Have a Merry Christmas Eve, and I'm sure I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. I feel like I'm clicking in the 90s. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy in the 90s. Yankee fitted, chain bling, denim jeans, diamond ring, hustler status, A-OK, -okay, Sicilian rustic, name your way. Boy status, non-figure, blueprint, like jigger, fast life, bottle liquor, our time.